what's up guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i'm making this video from lagos nigeria guys the gist is very hot and i my, as in i cannot just even hold myself i really want to give you guys this gist sharp sharp like hot hot as it is hot like i normally said please if you have not subscribed to my channel or you're seeing my face for the very first time consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell because this is the right place to be thanks guys for coming back to watch for those of you who are my returning subscribers without missing much of your time guys i just want to go straight into this video guys last night the housemates were just out of this world completely completely like they did not care they they, they no holds back actually happened like last night you understand the long awaited dark room game which praise was the pioneer of it um, um seconded by dorothy and they were the one engineering the whole housemate that ah, they should do this um dark room game and they want to with the intention because they are single the singles in the house you can see dorothy and praise according to them we are trying to pioneer it and they were saying that there should be no couple thing that if you're coming into the room you have to stop being coupled and all that and that was exactly what actually happened i don't actually know the concussion that praise actually concord in a in a pot they mix different kind of alcohol in a pot and they were trying to do a truth or dare kind of a thing you understand that if you do not do your dare you drink it and seriously that concussion actually made a lot of housemates high and immediately every, all of them got high they all started misbehaving at some point or the other let me just give you the gist first of all they actually dead a lot of people they actually in fact the the one i want to be i'll be speaking specific deaths to gist you guys about praise was dead to undress lucy and that was exactly what he did he actually undressed lucy and we our eyes was there as you are about queen i'm always bringing you guys the gist and telling you guys as it happened and guess what guys keisha actually helped us to actually fulfill his dreams i don't know if it's his dreams or his imaginations by telling us to actually fondle dorothy's breasts yeah i'll remind you my words in this video because i don't want youtube to actually come for me so that was what happened the next main one that actually happened was katrina was actually dead to kiss Ozo and guess what she did it with all pleasure like Ozo was trying to to be shy about it Katrina came out and gave it to him and then uh, Katrina was also there to feel Lacon's you know Lacon's bola down below and she actually did it like the housemates went absolutely dirty last night they did not even want to hold by you get and that was exactly what happened as in they they, they went extreme last night during the truth of day too also then showed the housemate his favorite sex position with katrina as in i think katrina was the one that demonstrated it with him he chose katrina and then he showed the housemate his favorite so guys to the main gist nengi and Prince, they had a conversation, like a lengthy conversation, and Prince was officially asking Nengi for a relationship. And guess what Nengi said? Nengi said that she is not interested, that she does not like guys that are just all over the place. And then Prince is like the kind of a kind of guy that's all over the place. He likes so many girls. He's always hanging out with different girls in the house and all that. And then me, I'm like, if if, if Prince is hanging out with all the girls in the house what is nengi doing nengi is actually the queen of that you understand she has been the one hanging out with all the guys in the house and then she is here opening her mouth saying that prince is hanging out with all the girls in the house she asked prince to shoot his shot some other place and you know the whole thing of this whole thing that i'm observing is i feel that nengi likes being chased you understand and if you feel like you like nengi and you make it clear to her she's actually going to give you a hard time she's actually going to do a, a lot of shakara for you and you have to keep chasing her chasing her while she enjoys it and the funny part is that also has actually successfully detangled himself from nengi at the moment also has just been minding his business and doing things with other people Prince is the one now in the trap. He has been going after her, telling her, and they had the conversation. They were just going back and forth, back and forth, repeating the same thing. I really like you. Nengi was like, really, I'm not sure you do. You like other girls. They were just going back and forth, and she was like, she's not interested. That she said that she's been seeing Prince hanging out with other girls, and Prince was like, even the girls I'm hanging out with, they even confirmed that I like you. 
the back long and short of the matter is that Nengi has refused, Nengi doesn't want, but her body language is just yearning, her body language is craving for the attention. That's in my own opinion. And the whole of these housemates and their drama, you see, they are just drama kings and queens that they brought in this season. This season, they did not just come to play with us, they came to give us it back to back like the content they are giving to us saying i don't think we can deal uh, by the time this week is up to a month or six weeks because it is just barely two weeks and we are saying all this thing and then moving on to um tochi tochi was actually confiding in kid wire and um, erica that um to the, there are two ladies in the house that are liking him and i'm like tochi are you serious is that what you're saying he said two people liked him and earlier in the day he had a conversation with Watoni and Watoni was like they were, not, they were just talking normally I don't know that Tochi has already carried it in his head that Watoni likes him because they were still talking about the couples in the house and all that and how do you like a guy and just you know some normal conversation a guy and a girl will be having and then Tochi now came to tell Kidwire that Watoni and Tulani Badge are liking him and then you know Kidwire now as a smooth talker and as a player that he is or I don't know if I'm calling him the right name if he's a player or not Kidwire was telling him that he should actually shoot his shot he should you know Erica was also telling him that he should speak to the two of them. He said he doesn't want to speak to any of them so that he wouldn't be torn down. Kidwire was just giving him tips on how to go about it. He should be helping them out. He should be trying to be there for them, making friends with them, telling them sweet words, you know, trying to get into their head that by the time he gets, he talks to both of them, he will really know the one that actually, like, if he starts teasing them, he will really know the one that actually really likes him. And guess what, guys? After they, they said they want to play the truth or they when they were having this conversation, they were actually preparing for the truth or there. And then Prince came and even was very angry at um, Kidwire that why don't they want to come and join the game? Kidwire, they were taking drinks outside and they were like, they are coming, not now. That you should give him three minutes while they were having that conversation. They continued having conversation and Kidwire was just lecturing and tutoring um, Tochi on how to go about with the two ladies, whichever one that falls for him, then he knows he should face that particular one. I don't understand. Like this housemate, Kidwire, what's up? Why, what are you trying to do? That the both of them should just he should be hustling the both of them that's just what kidwire was advising tochi to do and then the hot part of the gist was that kidwire was going back and forth from the truth or their section truth or their section rika was also doing the same thing and then for some reason they just were lying down on the chair they were gisting and then kayode our cameraman just focused the camera on them and they were just talking about their relationship kidwire was saying as in erica was insinuating that kidwire is a playboy and is a player he wants to just sleep with her and all that and all that and then kidwire was like i don't understand i i'm not like that well he was just trying to shy explain himself the next thing nengi just walked in and threw a do a duvet or a cloth on them or a wrapper or something on them like they should use it you get maybe because erica came to collect it earlier maybe she was feeling cold and then immediately nengi threw the clothes on them i see that is what they were waiting for they just cover it and the next thing i started here they cover it they were sitting on the lounge like in the sitting room they just covered it over their head and the next thing i was hearing was this kiss long go who else can hear and i'm like ah, what hey what's going on here seriously i was shocked like you need to see that was just what they were just doing throughout like and then they now brought the clothes down and they started talking about the relationship guys these housemates what did they came to do is this ultimate love or after they finished doing what they did under that cover they started having a conversation and um, um kid wire was just trying to talk to her telling her that she's not he's not that kind of a person he likes her that he's not interested in what in 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 the ex world you get and that was just basically it and then the crown up of the night which is the video i dropped earlier if you have not seen their big video there is a link up here please go and watch that video katrina and praise actually went down literally they went down like they did it after the whole truth or death thing i don't know if they were tipsy they actually crowned the night up with that you know that why katrina and praise were actually making out Tricky T was actually mounting the door. I don't know if Tricky T was actually mounting the door to make sure nobody comes into the room and find out what's going on or just to just be checking out area. You know how that kind of thing works now? Or to be checking out area for them. 
like seriously this housemates this housemates be giving us premium content back to back like i don't like I'm, I'm i'm beginning to enjoy the whole thing because this is the reason why i subscribed my dstv for a while i did not subscribe it but when big brother started i just felt like okay i need that content let me subscribe it so that i can come here and be giving you the army board that is happening and they have been giving me a reason to always come up put up my camera and come to tell you guys that this housemates are not even this is not big brother Niger. this is ultimate love because there's a lot of entanglement there are a lot of supreme there are a lot of touching there are a lot of caressing there are a lot of fondling like they have been having their feel in the house and it's just tomorrow make it two weeks exactly they are just this wild so that's just it i'll be coming your way with another just i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next